Hey Collective, y'all. I'm back with uh, another video. So let's check the energy, guys. Let's check the energy. Y'all know we are in retrograde. It's in Aquarius. Like, let's see what's coming. Let's see what's going on. This is a collective read. So it may or may not resonate. Take what applies and leave the rest. Okay, we got some jumpers. So, it looks like at the bottom of the day, we got full moon and Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. The end of a tough cycle is approaching, y'all. So, there's some things that may need to be closed out. Some things that need to be reviewed, looked at. Um, something that has been causing you some type of frustration or setbacks. The end of that tough cycle is getting ready, is close, is near. Okay? Spirit is also saying we got a new moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. Okay? So, this is very good energy because it looks like you guys are getting ready to come out of um, like a tough time. Could be financially, especially since it's giving a lot of Capricorn energy. It could be something financially that you could have been having a struggle with. Um... Spirit also wants you to look at the bigger picture. This is full moon in Sagittarius. Okay, so I'm going to put one more card. And then we're going to jump into the tarot. We're going to clarify this. Ooh, okay. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. All right, so there also needs to be, things need to be planned out when it comes to your goals your dreams something that you're trying to manifest because we got your dreams need a practical plan full moon and taurus so there needs to be some type of practicality okay there needs to be some type of balance spirit is saying find some type of balance whether it be your finances whether it be goals something that you're working towards something that you're building career home life it needs to have balance so this is what this energy is coming in to do to help you balance okay now it may look rough because you're having to reassess look over some things look over business plans um you know redo reassess recertify you know the word re is you know really big during retrograde so something that you have been a little frustrated about you know it's getting ready to that chapter is getting ready to close this retrograde is coming in to help you find that balance okay so i want to clarify a few things here and let's see let's go a little deeper okay so we're going to start with um your hard work is paying off. Some of y'all have been working real hard on something. You may have been getting some type of, dealing with some type of setbacks. Things could have been on hold. All right, yeah, see, yeah, see, you're trying to, man, you're manifesting here. For a lot of you, it is something long-term, okay? You're manifesting something long-term. Some of you guys, yep. Some of you guys are uh, going to have to start something over. But I felt like you saw that coming. Um... There is something. You're, you're manifesting something here. Something big. You started off small because we got that page of pentacles. Then the potential of it, like what it could be, what it what um 
what it has begun, what has come of it. We got the Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles and the Magician. So there's something, some type of goal, something, some type of dream, something that you're working towards, that you're manifesting, and it has a hell of a lot of potential. Like, this is something big. But you feel like some of y'all have been staying to yourself because you feel like you have to start over or you feel like something is a risk. It's too risky. Some of y'all are breaking generational curses. You're the first one to do this in your family. Yeah. And I see some of y'all are kind of like, it started out with you working on this yourself, but then you got a group here with the three of cups and a page of, um, page of cups. Either you're working on it yourself and you got people talking about it. People gossiping and talking about it. Like it's word of mouth going around. Yeah, I see you, you, you like, some y'all are inspiring others to do things, do something similar as well. Tell me why the magician is here. The King of Pentacles, I told you. Three of Pentacles. Yep. You are definitely, some of y'all started a business. Some of y'all started a business and you feel like you may have to, like, because um, we got the world here in the Ace of Wands. It's like, close something down and then it's like close something down and then reopen or if this is a website like you know you may have to shut your website down for a couple weeks until you reopen until you restock but i'm getting like something that was small is now you're now you've now manifested um a ten of pentacles energy here and for a lot of you it definitely has a lot to do with starting a business you knew it was going you knew it was going to cost. You knew it wasn't going to be something that was going to be free. Um you like you like what you're doing. Okay. So what is the hermit? Why is the hermit here? You could be a Virgo, you could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. Hierophant. Lots of earth energy here for sure. For sure. This could be like you guys could be like an earth sign or you have earth in your chart. I see you wanting to okay. You're isolating yourself. You you may have withdrawn because you want to make the right decision on something. Yes, it's something about a final decision. You want it to be the right decision. Like I said, you love what you what you're doing, but there is a choice that you need to make. All right, so this comes with looking at the bigger picture here. Now you're looking at the bigger picture. Okay, tell me why the world is here. Ooh, we got the lovers. It could be a Gemini. Okay, some of y'all feel like whatever it is that you're doing, maybe at this particular time, it's not getting the attention that you feel like it deserves. Okay, that's what I'm seeing as well, too. I see disappointments because you may not be getting the traffic that you want, may not be getting the attention that you feel like you deserve. And there could be competition. I see that as well.
okay, so maybe you feel like people aren't, you know, aren't interested in your product, something that you're offering. Because I feel like for a lot of you, this is about a business. You you opened up a business, okay? Started a, it's something about you, something that you built, that you're building, that you're working towards. So some of y'all are getting discouraged. Yeah, it's, you feel unsatisfied with the results right now. Just know that though, that is temporary, okay? Because I can tell that this is something that you're passionate about because we've got the Ace of Wands here. You're very passionate about it. You really have to look at the bigger picture here, okay? Every day isn't going to be peaches and creams. Every day you may make $200 one day, and the next day you can make $2,000. Like, don't cut yourself short. Keep promoting, keep building, because when I tell you, it can happen overnight, especially how social media is, okay? Like, I can tell that this is a goal and a dream that you really want, especially something here that you're very passionate about, okay? So, Spirit is saying, work through your fear, okay? Work through your fear. I feel like right now you, you want to quit or give up on something because you're not... You're not seeing the results that you want to see. Oh, it's Ace of Wands here. Five of Swords. So I see you, I see you could be feeling like, okay, well, I'm going to, you know, come up with a fresh new idea. Cause I see you planning something, planning on taking something to the next level. Okay. Taking something to the next level for sure, for sure. Because we got the Queen of Swords, Two of Wands, Seven of Swords, Sun, and Eight of Pentacles. So, Spirit is confirming that. You're taking something to the next level. But I feel you. I see you being a little frustrated. But what it is, is you're having to take it up a notch. Okay? You're having to take it up a notch. Yeah, it's not over. It's not over. You're going to have to work through this because this is just a little temporary setback, okay? This is not nothing that is that you need to just completely stop what you're doing. This definitely seems like it's something that you're passionate about. So, yeah, we're not quitting. We're not giving up. Yeah, it looks like business started slowing down, okay? So... It's time to take it up a notch. And see, look, it slows down and then it picks back up because we got the eight of wands in the chariot. Okay. So it looks like it slows down and then out of nowhere, it picks back up. So this is something that you can't give up on. And see, you just need to keep investing. You just need to keep, be patient. Spirit is saying, be patient because I feel like at this time, it's like you don't have, you're so impatient. <laughs> You're impatient because we got the four of cups and the seven of pentacles. Like, it's like, oh, I'm losing patience. You know, like, I don't feel like you feel like you're running out of time. But these type of things, are, it's just like that. Business can be up and business can be in the middle. Then it can be down. You have to keep going. You have to work through those fears, okay? So, yeah, this is definitely a time where... It could be a little bit frustrating or things could be, there could be delays or things could be on hold. But definitely spirit is saying you got to work through this fear. Okay, the picture is way bigger than what you're seeing in front of you right now. Okay, and your hard work is going to pay off. Your hard work is definitely going to pay off, guys. I hope this message was helpful. And I'm going to chat with you guys later. Y'all make sure y'all comment below. Let me know what's going on with you. As well, share with your family and friends. If you're new, go ahead and click that bell to subscribe, okay? Until next time, ciao.